Welcome back to Technologies in Education. This just in, there's a new app for the iPhone, the iTouch, and the iPad. No way. Just in, SparkView is now a science education data collection app available for the iPhone, iTouch, and iPad. This app uses the device's internal accelerometer to generate acceleration versus time data. Let's check it out. Now we're going to look at the SparkView app. We select it from our screen, use the top right hand corner plus symbol to create a new experiment. From this experiment, you can give it a title and a description by clicking on this top box. We'll title this experiment Test 1. And we won't give it a, a description and click Save. Then you can set your measurement and units. For this one, you can use your accelerometer with respect to your resultant, X, Y, or Z. In this case, we'll use accelerometer with result to X. You can also choose your units to be either in G's or meters per second squared. We'll use meters per second squared and click done. Then you want to set your sample rate. So how many times it takes a sample per unit of time. We'll have it sampling one once every second. You have the option of using hertz, minutes, or hours. And we'll click done. And then you want to set your duration. So how long this experiment will go on for. So we'll enable our automatic stop just to make life easier. And we'll have it stop after, we'll choose 15 seconds for this and click done. Then to start your test, you click done in the top right hand corner and you'll click on the word that says test one. And then you'll click the green to start your experiment. To start the experiment, we press the green button. We know the experiment's done when the color changes. One, two, three. So this is a graphical display of our data. If you wanted to take notes, next to this graphical display, you can press this little notes icon, and you can type whatever you wanted in on that screen. Um, if you want to get some summation data, press the summation key, and it gives you min, max, mean, the count, which is how many times uh, data was recorded, and the standard deviation for the data. What we're going to want to do with this data now is export it. So there's a little uh, icon here with an arrow going out. You get some options, but we're going to email the data in the CSV format because it will allow us to open. As you can see, this is our email um, from the document we just sent from the iPad. So once you open the email, you can click that information. And this is all of the data we just collected with the SparkView app. So now this is available to look in different formats within Excel, but also um, the data is collected where you can put it into other programs such as Tinkerplots or Fathom and look at different data collections there. So this concludes our exploration of SparkView.